So we're about to get on the helicopters. We've got two helicopters that are going to fly to the helipad, which is literally 30 seconds away from my home in Dominican, Costa Rica. And then we're gonna begin the mastermind. And so all these people hopping on a couple choppers, about a 30 minute flight out, land, basically walk to the house. Can't wait, this is gonna be fun. We come in and the cloud and the weather is just really not ideal. And so he's like, well, I don't think we can get in. We're gonna have to go to this other airport and come back. But then he's like, ah, let me see if I can sneak in the back door around here. So we go in and we're going into this massive storm, but he's like, I don't think we're gonna be able to get in. And then somebody's like, there's the helipad right there. And then he's like, all right. And we were already like just getting into it. And he lands right there. So we got lucky, but it was, it was freaking awesome. It's smooth. Great pilot. I've known I wanted to be an entrepreneur since I was like a teenager, starting a lawn business, you know, hustling lawn care, sold it. See, so this is what people do. You have basically super low ticket, you have mid ticket, and then you have high ticket. What people try to do is mid ticket to high ticket, and both of these have longer uh, buy cycles. The best way to do it is low ticket straight to high ticket. Forget the mid ticket. If you have a good low ticket front end, the people here will buy this anyway. So just for, just delete that. Forget that. Go right from here to here. There's so many options. Like I get lost in it, and then I procrastinate, and then it doesn't happen. And that's how I end up like months ahead without making any real progress. So this is, this is really cool. Yeah, so Low ticket then. Don't don't strive to be special. Strive to be the best. Yeah. You can you can be you can be the same as everyone else, but if you're the best at it, then you're special. The income coming in, it's coming into here, and it's also going out. Pick somebody that you know how to help. It's easy to get big results for and that there's plenty of in multiple locations. There are people that have amazing offers, that have clients that want those offers, but they can't get the funds. Yeah. You can help them get the funds. Fucking problem, solution, done. My name is DePaul Foxworth, and I am at the Porto Vito Mastermind with Dan Henry, and this has been a phenomenal experience. Uh, he helped me solve my problem of focusing on solving problems first before following a passion. And before I would get it backwards where I would go with a passion and I look for how I could solve a problem with that passion, but he showed me how to put the problem first and then from there go ahead and add my passion to help solve the problem. Look where we're at in Costa Rica. I mean, just having a great time being with the best people. Pura Vida! Earlier today, he was explaining a concept to um, one of the attendees that directly applied to my business, but it was something that I never would have thought to ask or would have ever, never even thought to put into my business. But it's something that related directly to my business and something that I'll take back with me and implement as a result of being here and being around other people. This is called the Dice Book. So you would use this in any situation. It could be on the phone, it could be at an event, it could be on a webinar, whatever, where you want people to understand, well, basically you want people to buy, okay? So let's say you've already done everything, you've already done your pitch, they're aware of the price, they're aware of the offer, and some people have bought, but they're still thinking, like there's a lot of people that are still thinking about it. And by the way, every time I've done this, a flood of people have bought. Anytime I come to things like this, it's it's always game changing for me. So I, I knew that, uh, I already know what the result will be of this. And I think that if you're looking for direct action on what you should do, um, that you should definitely consider the Pura Vida Mastermind because 
there is nobody that's going to shoot you straighter than Dan Henry. So it's day two. Um, day one, I got a real sense of everyone's business, their issues, their problems. Everybody met each other and they started networking and figuring out how everybody could help each other. And on day two, we're really gonna dive into the nuts and bolts of everyone's bottlenecks and everyone's uh, sticking points in their business. But there was already a ton of breakthroughs on day one. People are fired up and they came back this morning already with a ton of uh, different stuff to show. I, I, I know these guys, you know, they're, they're not here, to, they're here to relax, but I know they went home and they worked all night and and just completely crushed it and brought some new stuff to uh, to go over today. So it's just been a really, really great event. All hyped up, good sleep. <laughs> Best mortgage salespeople never talk about the loan, they talk about yeah. the home. What the real estate agent goes in and says, Imagine you had, uh, they don't say this kitchen's great. It has granite counter. A shitty realtor will do that. It has granite countertops. It has this, it has that. Let's say, Imagine what kind of dinner parties you could have here. Imagine what kind of Christmases. Like, where would you put the tree? Where would you put your Christmas? Oh, I put it here. I put it there. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's no, what. Yeah, that's yeah. spot on. That's my okay, I had a closer, assume like you just said, and it kept killing the fucking deals. He kept assuming about the prospect, making these assumptive ass judgments about them, and then he wasn't doing the necessary things, asking the same, because I'm like, bro, you getting the information from them, or knowing what they're feeling is not the thing. It's getting them to say it. Yes. That's the shit. Motherfucker closed 30 grand the next day. Yeah. Just by shifting that one thing. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Could be wrong. Oh, yeah, if you are never open to being wrong, dude, that's not good. About anything. You have to be open to being wrong about everything. Raise your hand if you would like to learn um, how to write a book that will generate you high ticket clients. So most of you can Somebody sees a book. You've written a book, you have instant authority. All of a sudden, all your competitors get pushed down and you rise to the top. How many of your competitors have a book? Zero. And even if they did, it would be one or two. But if you have a book, if you have a book, you automatically set yourself to the front of the pack. Anything that this guy creates in order to give some value to you, you should take him up on because it's never going to disappoint you. This man has the clearest mind of anyone I've ever met. He will take your problems, take your questions, take anything you have going on in your business. He will solve it for you and he will give you the answers on a platter, on a silver platter and go to work with right away. If you're in doubt, go for it. Don't think, stop thinking, say yes now, do it and go for it and you will never regret it video masterclass for contractors, what we're, what we're able to do is to take a series of procedures that we've developed that revolves around one thing and is video. Video shows us how to protect ourselves. Good job, good job. I, like, I like the energy. I like where you're trying to go with it. Let me give you an overall 30,000 foot view different sort of way to look at this. Okay. The reason why I joined the mastermind is because I wanted to start a coaching and consulting business and we found a lot of success in our construction business so when I got started I really didn't have mentors, I didn't have the help that I needed and I wanted to return the favor to other aspiring contractors to help shorten their learning curve. The value that I've received from attending this mastermind is, is priceless, you know, hanging out with other aspiring entrepreneurs, other people who has done exactly what I've wanted to do and of course having Dan himself look at my offer, help me craft my offer, help me kind of just get to the end result a lot faster and that's the main thing I've got now and so for me I think it's it's construction if it's uh, any other type of business the principles all the same and a lot of times we overthink things um, when we don't have clarity and Dan Henry he's the best at giving clarity and that's what I've gotten out of this mastermind I love it doing that pitch today mm -hmm. that helped solidify what my value needs what problems I need to solve and I don't know if I would have 
I had the pressure because I'm like, I just come up with this and I have to speak in front of people and I, 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 I want to be good at shit and I don't want to look like a dumbass. And I look like a dumbass, but I still had clarity and a little bit more confidence that the problem I was trying to solve was a problem and it's something that I have the tools and resources to solve um, and I can get a fucking, you know, uh, what is it, um, escalator to that end result with assistance, with help, with programs. So that is worth a lot because that it is difficult. The people that can get that out of a book and make actionable things and be successful, they're a fucking 1%. They don't need things like this. That's 1.1% of the population. We're here in the mountains, elevated high, talking about elevated ideas. And that's what I came here for, uh, is to really be able to chop it up with other entrepreneurs doing big things at a high level and really get into the nitty gritty of how to grow our businesses, scale them, handle the different challenges and problems uh, that we may be experiencing and the mastermind delivered. Man, if you're an entrepreneur and you just want to get a new perspective on your business and a, and a new look at how to grow, this is the place to be.